Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. My name is Ella, if you're new to my channel, because I know I've got a lot of new subscribers, so I just want to say hello. Thank you for subscribing. Please make sure you share my pages um, or my videos so other people know about them. So yeah, let's just jump straight on to today's video. So today I thought I was I would do a life update just to let you guys know what's going on with my life. So things like my medical stuff, college, home life, social life, um, job, vlogging, YouTube and things like that. Just giving you a general update on how I've been. So that's what I thought I'd do. So this could be quite a long video. Um, I will try and cut it down because it could be quite boring. But the first thing I want to say is I've had a haircut. <laughs> um, yes, you guys may go, why have you had a haircut? You did not need it. No, I didn't need a haircut. But on my defence, it was becoming a nightmare to tame um, and I just hated it. I couldn't deal with it, um, even brushing it in the mornings. I, when I wake up in the mornings, I'm dead, I'm like a zombie. And a lot of the time, I would literally just throw it forward and tie it up in a bun. I wouldn't even bother brushing it because I just didn't have the energy to do it and like, yes, I could ask my mum to do it or my dad, but they're busy trying to sort other people out in my so another thing's out first thing in the morning and they don't really need to be dealing with their 17 year old daughter's hair. So I thought I would get it cut. I've had it this length before um, and I found it actually a lot more useful because I've been able to wear it down. It's not annoying me and getting in the way of things. Um, and it just feels so much nicer. I have got long layers in my hair if any of you guys are wondering. Um, and that's literally all that they've done. Um, they haven't coloured my hair or anything. Um, a lot of my hair dye is coming out, which is quite nice. The second thing is my New Year's resolutions. Am I sticking to them? And I can say, yes, I am. Um, so there was two main things that I wanted, there was three main things I wanted to do so far. I've managed to achieve two of them. Um, the first thing is um, be happier in myself. Um, sort of the last couple of days I've been a little bit down, but I think that's more just hormones playing up and just the stress of starting a new job and trying to balance stuff out, um, which I will get onto in a minute. But I have been so much happier um, and I just feel like me again, which in saying that, I haven't felt like me and being able to achieve stuff in a really long time, um, which is good. I'm trying to be a lot more positive. If there's any negativity anywhere, I'm just blocking it out of my life. Um, so always leave positive um, comments and I will comment back as soon as I can. Um, I'm not very good at doing it, but I will, I am trying. I do read them. If I, I always read them, but if I don't reply, don't worry, I have read it. Um, I keep a, a date on it all the time to check when people have uploaded or commented, sorry. Second of things that I have done this year is I've got a job. Um, that is something I really wanted to achieve this year to get into employment, be a working um, working student, so being able to work part time and be a college student and trying to balance it out has been a little bit more challenging than I expected. This week has been okay. Now, I did take Tuesday off but I wasn't very well um, and I think that was from the shock of starting work. My body was like, whoa Ella, what have you just done to it? Um, so I wasn't very well on Sunday and I rested. And actually, that's the worst thing I could have done. Um, so even when I'm having a crap day and I can barely walk anywhere, I need to just try and do something, whether that's just pick up some stuff or wash my hair or just do something. I did get out of bed and I did go downstairs, but again, then I fell asleep on the sofa, which isn't very good. Um, so, yes, but I am working and so far I'm loving it. Um, I've been picking things up really quickly. It's in the field of things that I want to do in health and social care. Um, and it's just really nice and I enjoy my work. I enjoy meeting people every day. I enjoy the colleagues I work with. Um, and we're all just really friendly and chatty and it just makes me in like a really positive mood. Um, even when I went for my interview, my manager was really positive and so sweet and it just it gave me a really good um, like 
just really positive about working um, and getting into the field of work. So yes, I was really happy with him and he's so nice, bless him. Um, and yeah, we have good banter, which is important. So yeah, that's the second thing, um, or the third thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's my New Year's resolutions. And the last one was to save a bit of money. Now, obviously I've just started work, so hopefully that saving money will be coming very soon. I'm really excited some point in the next couple of years I would love to go traveling somewhere um whether that will happen I don't know because that is a massive step so that's like those two massive things I've done um obviously I've said that I am just happier in myself I have been seeing um my a therapist about it who helps with my he does CBT with me with my uh, ME which whether it actually works I don't know I am giving it a good shot um and we're just trying to really start and find out what's going on I'm probably going to be with them for quite a long time because a lot happened through my past um I'm now not looking at my past I'm looking to my future um which I think is good because before I was looking a lot what happened when I was little and blaming it all on that um so yes um i don't know whether i might link the um video um of my past down below and i've talked about it why have we gone orange why is it going orange all of a sudden i don't know okay okay my camera cut out it had run out of space but we're back just give me a second of something um I smell of coffee I need to go brush my teeth <laughs> so yes that's what I've been doing physio is going okay um we are we've worked out why I have dodgy joints um they've worked out why I'm having issues with my back and my hip and they think it's because of the positioning of my knee um which why it's taking them so long to work it out I don't know um but I have been referred to see someone to get insoles, hopefully, to help with the positioning of my knee. Whether that's what will happen, I don't know. But obviously, I will let you know um, later. Or I might even vlog that day I go. Um, because I want to try and vlog a little bit more this year. That's another thing um, I want to do, is vlog a lot more. Uh, now I've got this new camera, I love like making videos. The quality is so much better, my channel is growing, and I just love it so much. Um, and it's just getting to that point where um, I feel comfortable vlogging. And to be honest, I don't really give a shit, <laughs> sorry for my language, what other people think of me. I really don't anymore. Um, just because I'm trying to just be me and be happy and just enjoy life. You only have one chance at it and I wish I had done that a lot earlier. Um, I'm in a good mo mode, in a good mood and just positive all the time. And yes, there are times when I'm at work and I get quite tired. But again, I think it's more of my body just shocking itself into a rhythm and on by the end of my day I work because I've been on my feet all day and I give anyone who's on their feet all day credit my back hurts and I think it's just because my body's not used to me being on my feet all day um but it's, it's just great like I am so happy at the moment and I don't think I've been so happy in a very long time like last year was a bit of a crappy year um, I didn't know what was going on. Um, I No one really could tell me any answers with my health and things. Now I know. I've sorted my new medication out. And overall, I just feel so much better. Um, mm. Um, I also feel like I my brain has grown up um, and that sounds really weird but before I wouldn't say please and thank you like I was not very polite and 
since being at college and since um starting work i just feel like my maturity has grown up and i feel like since i've had more responsibilities with other people in my family and i've had to sort other things out and be quite grown up about it oh my god my maturity has just grown up i've got a nephew to think about and i don't want to be negative to him and i want to see him see him growing and developing and oh my god i was on the phone to my sister last night and he said daddy um because my sister's boyfriend had gone out and he was like daddy it's the first time i've heard him say that oh my god my little heart melted like i don't care that it's only for a few hours that few hours means a lot something else this year i want to achieve like life update wise is driving um i will be saving so much like me and hannah want to go to westfield um and i'm definitely gonna vlog it again because we had so much fun going to westfield and that video really proves to me that i am able to do things i want to do if i put my mind over just put put my brain into gear like yes you're gonna get anxious about it but you can still achieve what you want to achieve just go out there and do it um sometimes you just have to face the fear and do it anyway which my dad always says um and he has proved me right this time and i know what makes me anxious now so i am trying really hard to push over those boundaries um so something that i find makes me quite anxious is eating out in a restaurant or um eating when i've started something new so it's taken me a little while to start eating at work i'm absolutely fine now like i will go and get something i'm still not quite there with like a sandwich but snacker jacks or something like i'm happy to eat um college i'm absolutely fine with now uh but the thing that i was so proud of myself was it was my mum's birthday last week and we went out for a meal and this time last year you would not have got me to go out for a meal i wouldn't eat um and i'm so proud that i went out ordered enjoyed my meal didn't feel anxious didn't feel like i was going to throw up and i was just proud of myself um and this is why i'm trying to vlog and do like life updates to remind myself that when i've achieved things it's documented because with what i have my memory at the moment isn't great so when i've done something i want to document it and it's great to look back and when i've died my grandkids can look at what their grandma was like when she was little and i just think youtube is such a great thing to do this is why i'm trying to do it a lot more and upload it um whether people watch it i don't care it's more for me to look back on when i'm older and gray and my friends love watching t and seeing what I'm doing when they don't they don't see me and it's nice because my sister can then keep an eye on me when I'm vlogging and she can see what I've been up to and me obviously my cousin who you guys will have seen in the Norfolk vlogs and her heard my nan's voice it's just amazing I love the whole thing about YouTube and I am going to be doing it more and I am going to be pursuing it so much more this year um now I've got this camera which has a viewfinder and I am just in such a good mood um and I said to like my manager I was like why am I in such a good mood I'm never in such a good mood but life is just amazing at the moment and if you're having a crap life change it see what's going wrong see where you can improve it yes i've had to overcome so many things in my life my life could be in a book seriously my consultant was like oh my god you have ha gone through so much i'm not really surprised that you've come out with it with a condition and with having me because the trauma and everything i've gone through over the last six 17 years of my life has just been incredible life is bumps along the way and life is just you never know what's around the corner tomorrow i could end up in hospital or tomorrow someone in my family could not be here or anything can happen don't let life get in the way me and my boyfriend and we were looking at flights to australia and i was sitting there going oh my god no i can't do this my anxiety i'm like fuck that fuck it like just don't care about it just go and do it yes 
there's going to be fears. Yes, there's going to be worries. But what's going to happen? You're going to have a panic attack. Panic attacks, yes, are crap. They're horrible. But in my head, I know that they only last 40 minutes. And I know that, yes, I'm doing it. And I'm so proud of myself for doing it. It's just amazing. If you're thinking that you can't do something, you can. I know you can. Because... I am doing this. I don't care what people used to say at school about me. I don't care that people were horrible about me. But you, and I'm saying you, can go and do it. Just be positive about yourself and you will get far. I am doing so well for myself at the moment and I'm so proud of myself. And that's important for you guys to remember. If you're having a crap day or a crap week tomorrow might be better or the week after might be better see where you're going wrong because for so many years i was depressed i was not in a good place and i just just felt like crap and i mean it without people at school and oh my god i love her to bits now yes she was a pain in the ass and she knows exactly who she is because this is gonna go up on my facebook status she knows exactly who she is i used to hate her i used to shout at her and scream at her but she believed in me but there are people out there who believe in you and i promise and i am one of those people just message me on twitter or fate on youtube and i will get back to you if you're having a crap day i will help you i'm here to help i'm not here to be like oh there's all this wrong with me i'm here to help everyone i love life at the moment and so should you um so yeah i'm just now in a really good mood um and life isn't all crap yes you could be in a really bad place but work out what's gone wrong work out how you can get out of that situation is there something going on at home is there something wrong there are counselors out there and there are people out there who care i promise you that uh, before i met dawn n my life was just shit and i honestly don't think i would have come out with g some at least some gcses without her at being at school she was the best person there and oh my god i am so glad that there was someone there when I was going through the worst time of my life. 2013 was a crap year. I lost loved ones. I just, life just went the wrong way. And oh my God, I was so close to giving up. But there are people who care. And if you are having a crap week, just message me and I will find out what's going on and I will help you and try and make things better. I promise positivity is what you need and i have worked that out the hard way and i know that i'm not going to let my anxiety and my depression get in the way yes there's going to be days where i feel like crap yes there's going to be days where i'm tired and i just don't want to do anything and i feel like crying my eyes out but that's okay cry your eyes out if you have to no one cares because at the end of the day if that makes you feel better do it don't turn to alcohol and drugs. They are the worst thing you can do. But life is always there for you. And you will be able to achieve something that you want to achieve. I promise you. Yes, it's taken me years to get to where I am today. And I'm still learning. And I'm still finding my feet on life, on planet Earth. But I, who isn't? You learn and you grow every single day. Even elderly people, they are still learning. Their brains are still working. Yes, there are people out there who are worse off than me. And yes, I would love to go out to Africa and India and see these poor people and try and help them as much as I can. But don't give in to the bad memories in your head. Try to forget about the past. Forget about it, move to the future. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I've gone off this um, life update a little bit and I've been very um, good mood. But honestly, I'm being honest with you today. Um, so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up and I will see you hopefully very soon for another video.